Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only Fire Mod type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time, we got very sidetracked, but. Oh. Okay, well, speaking of getting sidetracked, there's a the good rod. Last time, we got very sidetracked, but managed to get the other two starters available in Gen 3. Then we made our way through Mount Moon as intended. This time, the goal is to be able to take. Uh, well, we're going to take care of some business north of Cerulean City, and if we have time, maybe beat the gym at the end. We'll see. Oh, and you can get the berry powder case from this guy, but it's a feature that's basically deprecated because, well, can't do multiplayer in Gen 3 anymore unless you have the proper hardware. Of course, it's not to say you can't do the multiplayer stuff, but good luck finding people with the working hardware. And, uh, well, if I know how this is going to work, it's probably going to be a rival battle. So, let's just see how this goes, shall we? We'll see. Oh, and by the way, during some off-screen level grinding, I found that there are wild Pokemon up to, like, level 25 to the west of Cerulean City, so that's not very encouraging. Alright, lose Dragon Claw. That is my most powerful attack. 80 base power, plus I've got a Dragon Fang on it. Alright, well, if you're gonna do that... Nope. Oh, you caught a Cyndaquil as well. Not gonna help you, though. Oh, you teach it, Mud Slap. Okay, no, I'm actually gonna switch because I don't want that accuracy drop. Oh wait, no. This one's fighting. Now... Bring you back to the fight, shall we? Yeah, I really lucked out on getting grass hidden power on this one. That might just... That's kind of overpowered. Yeah, I did. See how you feel at the end of this. Moving on, let's go up to Nugget Bridge, shall we? Bug catcher, no problem. I know I'm using the speed up a lot, but well, I'd like to keep my videos down to a reasonable length if possible. When I was filming the Emerald Monotype run, I had a lot of episodes go on for a really long time because, well, one, I was recording in long form, and two, I just was stubbornly not using the speed up. I'll try to keep it to a minimum on certain battles, but I guess, you know, just regular trainers like this, I don't see the reason to make you watch the whole thing at normal speed. Unless something interesting happens, you know? Alright, well, we're gonna switch now. I 
I don't know how many of these are going to be on the final team. I know all three of the starters will. You probably will. I might keep Flareon. And you may or may not be replaced. We'll see. Plus, I can go back and forth with me. Different Pokemon I catch. Like, I still got that other Charmeleon in the PC. I said I wanted to get... Dude, I would like to join, but... Okay. Some people just can't take yes for an answer, you know? Well, okay. Sucks to be you. Okay. I see how it is. Hmm. Okay. And here's the TM for rest. Okay. It's let's. Oh. Okay. Shiny time. Ooh! Hollywag. If it survives this, I'll catch it. Okay, guess not. And we're back. Yeah, I suspect Misty's Pokemon are gonna be in the mid to high 20s. Keep in mind, I've only got one Pokemon that is a super effective move against her entire team. Ooh, Duskull. Yeah, you'll also notice that a lot of the trainers don't necessarily stick to their usual theme. Some do, but not all. Okay, uh... I guess there's a cave up there. We'll have to find out where that goes later on. Ooh, Lily. Oh, bulk up. That's a good move. Boost your attack and defense at the same time. For a physical attacker, that's great. Damn it. Come on, wake up. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's move on. Oh, that was Youngster Joey. You know why he lost? Because he didn't have his Rattata, you know? Top percentile. Funnily enough, <laughs> I mean, the Charmander I started off with is damn near perfect. I actually ran the calculations after the fact. It has 31 in all of its stats except for attack and special attack. Which, uh, that basically means it's damn near perfect. Now, I would rather have had it be the 30s be in defense and special defense, but, eh, them's the breaks. Anyways, moving on. Now we're back up here again. There's gonna be a couple of items up there. I'll explain after after we battle these two trainers. Oh, I, I fought you. Okay, so you see those areas just above me where there's just darker lines in the grass? Usually that means there's an item there. Chat, huh? It doesn't look like one to me. Yeah.
Yeah, you get a lot of berries if you have Pokemon to pick up on your team. Double team. That might come in handy. We'll see. Alright, so well, without further ado, let's go talk to Bill. Yeah, it's basically the plot of the fly. Yeah, sure. Alright, back to Cerulean City. Oh, and by the way, I checked. There is no special store in Cerulean City. I guess the bike shop counts. So. Okay, so they changed the layout, so... That square in the middle's gone. Okay. That trainer's normally a female swimmer, instead it's a sailor. No, you don't. Yeah, I just can't take a chance with that. All right, well, you're out. Nah. Anyway, uh, yeah, back to the Pokemon Center rule. And now, without further ado, let's go. Steel, huh? Okay. Empower grass, baby. Okay, this is going to be easier than I thought, or... Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. Let me take a look at my team real quick. Alright, yeah, you're up. Uh, well, that bought me time, at least, I guess. Hmm. Because you're psychic hidden power. That's not gonna help. Alright, you're back out. There we go. Yeah, Hidden Power, well, Sunny, the whole purpose of Sunny Day was to weaken her water attacks. Well, GG.
Hmm. I guess I overestimated the level curve for this point. Oh well. Okay, well, we're done with that. I'm pretty sure that's not a whole lot of footage anyway, so uh we'll do some more stuff. Give me a Okay, and now we can go over here and see what's going on in this house. These people got robbed, and we know who the culprit is. You're a very bad liar, you know that? Alright, well... Okay, yeah. We're swapping. Yeah, you better. Now get! Alright, well... Hmm. Hello? Hmm. Must be asleep in front of the TV. You know old guys are. Of course, you can't go this way yet. But I guess we're gonna be going south. Let's just make sure... Yeah, we're okay. Here we go again, huh? WATSON! Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna... Pelipper is one of those Pokemon with a moveset that is just made to waste your time. Yeah, I am. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, be right back. Huh, guess he doesn't want the TM back anyway. Moving on, now we go through this route, and, uh, yeah, the design of this route is very, very different, to put it mildly. Oh, dragon types, okay. Fuck you! Fuck off! Oh, now you piss me off. Yeah, eat shit. Yeah, no sympathy. Fuck you, bitch. And now we're back again. Okay, so you're a dark type specialist. You're doing a mono type too, huh? That's something I gotta keep in mind is I don't want Eevee to evolve. Although, at this point, it probably will very shortly if I don't stop it. Because I need to make sure it evolves into a Flareon. Otherwise, this whole run is invalidated because I've used it, so I have to evolve into a fire type. That's not gonna save you. Finally, you get a dark type move. And now we're going to swap out Estia's item. Because you'll get a lot more use out of it since Bites gets the same type of attack bonus. And you know what? Let's just make a quick adjustment. Alright. And this, I'm guessing, well, that is the daycare. Hmm. 
Well, nah. I don't think I have any reason for that. Of course, we probably can't go this way. Just to check. Yep. By the way, yeah, he's lying. He's just corrupt. And this girl you can trade with. Usually it's a Nidoran for... Oh, for an Auron. Well... I could have caught Naron earlier, so no. There's some items hidden down here, but I don't remember exactly where they are. I'd need the item finder for that. Now, we get topside. And Route 6 has changed quite a bit, too. Hit point up? Okay. I might use that, actually, because... If I'm going to use Flareon, then... Well, Flareon's kind of bulky. That's kind of the whole reason to use it. So, yeah. Alright. Yeah. A bug catcher with no bugs. That's sad. I'll check out what Pokemon are in there off screen. Well, only one way to find out, kiddo. Ooh. You're doing the same thing I am. Too bad I have hidden power fighting. Oh, fuck off. You would! And of course, because... It's like, oh, I don't need Ross Berries, because the rest of my Pokémon can't get burned. Well, that's the only one that can get burned. Alright, moving on. Okay. Down you go. Yeah, there's two trainers blocking the way. Alright. Oh! I think I could have just gone past them. Well, my, well, now that I'm here, I might as well. Yeah, not letting you blow up on me. Bite. Hmm. Eh, sure. This is mostly gonna be a physical attacker, but... It might help. And we have made it to Vermilion City. Now, in here is one item that I really wanted to get. This is the Versus Seeker, and this is going to solve all of my money problems. And then we go in here, and, well, predictably, this is where you get the Super Rod. Yeah, this, uh, this raw Mac has been very, very generous. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we've gone on for a while. I think this will wrap it up for this episode. Like what you see, like... Comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Next time we're going to be doing stuff around Vermilion City and possibly clearing out stuff on the SSN. Catch y'all next time.